Praise the Lord and Happy New Year! Such a joy, isn't it? To step into this new year. Absolute grace of God that we all are here in this new year. And when we turn back and see such a wonderful grace and mercy of God, isn't it? In every part of our life, every detail of our life, God has been so faithful, isn't it? All right, let's straight get into this word today. I'm going to take you through a very known passage. All right, it's from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we're going to read verse from 41 through 46. And it reads, The Philistine came closer and closer to David. And now they're talking about Goliath with a shield bearer in front of him. When the Philistine looked and saw David, he despised him because he was just a young, healthy and handsome boy. He said to David, am I a dog that you came against me with a stick? Then he cursed David by his gods. Came here, come here. The Philistine called to David and I will give your flush to the birds of the sky and the wilderness of the beast. We'll read the rest of the portion a little later. Now, 2022, there could have been a lot of situations which were not pleasing, which were not encouraging, which were really disturbing. I have gone through a lot of situations as well. But let me tell you, testing phase is there in everybody's life, especially if you've got a greater calling, you've got a greater testing period. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? That's truth. You have to believe it. Unless you go through the testing phase, you would not be able to go to the real situation and handle it. Now, David was a shepherd boy and Goliath was challenging the Israelites for 40 days. Not one, not two, not 10, not 20, but 40 days. He was coming and challenging the Israelites. And you know, Saul was like, totally tormented. He was like, I don't know what to do. No one is able to go ahead and stand against him. And all this 39 days, you know what God was doing with David? God was preparing David. In this time, there was a lion, there was a bear, which came against the lamb. And David did not have any weapon. He did not trust in the weapon. He trusted in the God Almighty. He, with his bare hands, he tore the mouth of the lion. He saved the lamb from the bear. So God was preparing him during that 39 days. Let me tell you, 2022 was your testing period. God was preparing you physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. He was preparing you for the greater blessing, the greater breakthrough that God has prepared for you already in 2023. Let me tell you, your victory has been pronounced already. If you believe with me, say an amen, shout an amen. Yes, your victory has been pronounced by God himself in this year, in this new year, 2023, because you have endured the testing period and you have come out victoriously. Now David comes and stands in front of Goliath. We, we continue to read. David said to Philistine, You come against me with a sword, spear, and javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord of armies, the God of the rank of Israel, who have defiled him. You know, the world will come against you with a lot of allegations, false witnesses, lot of other things. But let me tell you, when you have endured your testing period, you don't have to trust on people. You don't trust, to, you, you don't even have to trust on your own relatives, your parents, your siblings, or the advocates, or any officials, because your trust is on the Lord. And you don't fight this battle through the weapon of this world, but you fight this battle through the spiritual weapon. Just like the wall of Jericho, just praise and worship, and the wall came down to nothing. Let's continue to read. Today, the Lord will hand you over to me. Claim this in your life today. 
Look at every Goliath in your life. The sickness could be joblessness, could be relationship issues, should be family issues, whatever it is, financial issues. Call it, name it, and tell, speak to it. Speak to the Goliath in your life and tell, today the Lord will hand you over to me. Today I will strike you down. Remove your head and give the carpers of the Philist Philistine camp to the birds of the sky and the wild creatures of the earth. Then all the world will know that the Israel has a God. That you are going to defeat the Goliath in your life. Trust me, brother. Trust me, sister. This word is for you. God is going to bring down the Goliath in your life because you have endured your testing period. You have all said, Saul tried putting the war costumes on David, but David said, no, I cannot handle this because I don't trust in this. My victory has already been pronounced. You don't need a weapon. You don't need the costumes of the war because your victory has been already pronounced. My dear brother, my dear sister, shout in hallelujah because your victory has been already pronounced by God Almighty in this year. It's a year of victory. And this whole assembly will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's. He will hand you over to us. The waiting period. God was preparing. God wasn't silent. He wasn't silent. He was preparing you to face this battle. He was increasing the courage within the David and the faith on God. Because when you see, when he reads there, I mean, uh, 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 the words from 24 onwards or 25 onwards, when he, when he explains uh, Philistine or the Goliath, that you come trusting on the javelin, on the other equipment, or so the war weapons. But I come in the name of the Lord, who has the authority over the heaven and the earth. He is the creator of you and me. He knows when, how, that men cannot understand. God is with you. This year, you're going to overcome all your Goliath. You're going to overcome all your sickness, all your financial issues, all your relationship issues. God is going to give Goliath in, on, in your disposal. You don't have to take the weapon. You know, David did not take any weapon, but he, he told Goliath that I'm going to separate your head uh, from your body and I'm going to give your carpers to the birds and the wild creatures. How would he even go and, 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 and cut down his head with a sling or a pebble? The weapon that your Goliath, your offenders used against you could be a false witness, could be a false allegation, could be anything that they used against you. God is going to use the same weapon to put them down. Because when David put Goliath down, he took Goliath's sword to slaughter Goliath. He did not take a sword on his own. He took Goliath's sword. So any weapon that was used against you in 2022, God is going to use the same weapon to put your offenders down and he is going to prepare a banquet right in the presence of your offenders. If you believe this, join with me as I pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, all this while, O oh Father, the testing period wasn't so easy, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord of tormentation, Lord of patience, O oh Father. But we believe, even when, when our eyes could not see, when our hearts could not experience, our ears could not hear, you were still working on the background, O oh Lord Jesus. And now we believe that 2023 is the time of harvest, O oh Father. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and stand in front of our Goliaths in our life, O oh Father. Not trusting on the javelin, not trusting on the sword, not trusting on any other weapon, but trusting you, O oh Lord Jesus. And we are going to put our Goliaths down by your grace. We're going to use the same weapon that was used against us to slaughter the Goliaths in our life, O oh Father. 
Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for doing these great and mighty things in our life. We give you all praise, glory, and honor. And in Jesus' matchless name, we thank and pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful and successful year ahead. Goliath is given in your disposal. And God has already pronounced your victory. Amen.